Hi, this is Ali Reza from DockerEdgeSolutions.com uh, and in this video I'm going to explain some basic uh, component measurements in Multisim. Uh, so I'm going to explain how to uh, draw a circuit uh, and do simulations using Multisim. Uh, the top menu usually has uh, some information about the uh, file management system that I will explain later about the uh, complete functions of these things uh, and on the bottom side there are some components that you can use for uh, simulations uh, and there is a play uh, or run uh, button that you can press for circuit simulation uh, the right side column uh, has instruments for uh, measurement uh, that uh, we're going to explain them uh, in a few minutes uh, and also the project management side, which is on the left side. Okay, for a uh, basic introduction, we can just uh, do a simple measurement. Uh, we need to add components to the editor sheet. Uh, so uh, you, any of the components that we have here, if you press, uh, you will go to the component list, or you can use the menus in order to uh, bring up this component list. Uh, from the basic menu of the group, uh, you can use resistors, okay? And here are the values for the resistor on the component list here. Uh, for example, I'm going to use, uh, uh, say, 2.5K resistor and place it in the circuit like this. And I'm going to use another uh, resistor that you can um, go down from the menu, say 5K uh, here, and place it on the circuit. Uh, another thing that we need here is uh, the sources that we need. For example, we need a battery uh, to power the circuit. Uh, so I go to the sources and from sources, power sources, and we need to use a ground. Any circuit in the simulation needs a ground. And also uh, a DC power, which is a battery. Okay, so I place it on this uh, circuit editor. And uh, if you uh, click using the uh, left side actually uh, button of the mouse uh, then you will be able to connect the circuit uh, this one uh, has the orientation that you don't want so we want it vertical just right click select it right click on the component and rotate clockwise so this way we have the component set up correctly and use the mouse button in order to connect the circuit uh, and from the battery and also the power ground here. Okay, the circuit is complete here. We have a loop here, a 12 volt battery, uh, a resistor R1 and a resistor R2 with the specific uh, values that we have. You can edit any value that you want. For example, you can change the uh, battery voltage to 6 volts or 10 volt or any other value that you want. Uh, same thing for the component values, uh, 2.5K, you can change it, for example, to uh, 2K or uh, the value that you want. It can be in the range of ohm or kilo ohm or anything that you want. For example, is 2K and click OK. And, uh, well, I have to remove this uh, dot from here. And then we have... Uh, the other resistor, we can edit that one too. For example, here is a 5K. Let's say we say, uh, for example, 8. And this is 8K and 2K. Okay, for circuit simulation, we need measurement. Um, for measurement, and because this is a DC circuit, I'm going to use a multimeter. So here's a multimeter that we can use. Uh, if you want to measure the voltage across resistor R2, uh, I can connect the multimeter by clicking on the probe and then connect it to the top and bottom of the resistor and double click on the multimeter value. So we select the voltage and this uh, straight line shows the DC voltage. Um, okay, and then we need to run simulation. If you run simulation, you will read the measurement value. So this is the way that we measure a voltage across a resistor. Um, if you want to change the circuit, you can stop simulation and change the component value. Say, for example, I change this 8K to, for example, 6K. 
and see what the result will be. So we need to run the simulation again. So it's going to show us 7.5. So depending on the resistor value, this uh, voltage divider will show a specific vo uh, value at the output. So this is the way that we measure voltage. You can add multiple uh, multimeters or voltmeter. For example, I can measure the voltage across R1 like this. So I have to use another one, double click on it and move the measurement window here. So I click on the voltage and then I click on the DC because the voltage source is DC and run the simulation. So uh, the voltage that I'm measuring across R1 is 2.5 volts and this is 7.5 across R2 and the sum of the voltages because of KVL is equal to 10, right? So we prove that the KVL is correct. Uh, for current measurement, uh, we need to make the multimeter in series with the component. So in parallel, we cannot measure current. So I have to, for current measurement, I have to disconnect multimeter and break the circuit. So we have to disconnect this part and connect this one uh, the multimeter in series, right? So the, the current should go through multimeter and then go to the resistor. This is the way that we measure uh, the resistance value. Uh, so uh, I made the multimeter in series and make sure that you click A, which is for ampere or current measurement. So it shouldn't be in the V, which is the voltage measurement. It should be A and then in the DC and then run simulation, right? So we have the current measurement shown here, 1.251 is the milliamp, is the current flowing into this circuit, correct? Uh, so for current measurement, for any component that you wanna measure current, uh, just make the multimeter in series. So it should be in series. You need to break the circuit, cut the circuit, cut the wires, make the multimeter in series, and then uh, measure current. For voltage measurement, it should be in parallel. Uh, so uh, we have more videos on this uh, for uh, AC measurement, uh, for uh, more complex circuits, for uh, KVL and KCL uh, for complex circuits. So uh, please visit our website at drhsolutions.com uh, or send us email at info at drhsolutions.com. Uh, thanks.